This is a $100 million mega mansion. And it's possibly the most luxurious house ever built by mankind. And we're gonna be comparing living in this house to living in this $69 million art house that's built to withstand a literal tsunami. A $30 million palace with its very own water park. And everything in between, all the way down to this $1 barely functioning house. More of a shed. Well, it's only a dollar. Why does this house cost a dollar? Yeah, we get another storm. It's probably gonna go into the water. Uh -huh. So it's worth a dollar for me to just to get rid of it. So you would say this is a horrible investment for me? Yes, indeed. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, oh, this is sketchy. <laughs> what are the odds I fall through? Pretty high. <laughs> Bro, these are wobbly. I like how that chair is just like holding on for real life. We have a recliner, a mattress, and half a floor. I can literally fish from inside of the house. Yo, I caught one. Whoa. That's just a lure, I'm sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that you see us having fun, do you regret selling it? I do not. What if I gave you $2 to buy back off me? No. Nope. All right, I tried. I have an idea. Let's get out of this house. Later in this video, we have a house that costs 100 million times more than this. And because I never plan on setting foot in this worthless shack again, let's head over to something a little nicer. Speaking of which, we're at the million dollar house. Which technically means you need to be a millionaire to buy this house. Let's show you how a millionaire lives. My first impression is it's way bigger than my house. When you pay a million dollars, you get a pretty good sized kitchen. Along with four bedrooms that look normal. But they keep going because this bedroom has a closet here. Which leads into a bathroom that is bigger than a one dollar house. This bathtub is gigantic. I'm six foot five and I could fit in this perfectly comfortably. And even though the bathrooms are all stocked with bidets. Oh God! <laughs> the best seat in the house is definitely downstairs. Oh snap! You have a movie theater. Dude, these chairs are massage chairs. Wait, what? <laughs> These chairs each have two remotes. Two remotes. On top of the movie theater, there's also an arcade. I was not expecting all these features for $1 million. Yo, this house is awesome. I'd have so much more friends if I owned a place like this. And ending with the pool, which comes complete with this unnecessary waterfall. Overall, I'd say this was a pretty fun house to live in. But of course, we're all here to see the richest of the rich. And that's why up next, we have the 15 million. <clears throat> 15 million dollar house. Are you pushing it? Oh my god. Jeez, man. I don't belong here. This looks like the house that you try to get to in GTA. That view is crazy. The pool is much smaller than the one million dollar house, but you can literally oversee all of LA. Help! Hey! Hey! Stop, stop, go inside. I need new friends. Let's check out the house. The person who owns this house, what do you think he does for a living? Mm, NFTs. He's a lawyer. This guy was the top attorney in 2017 and the number one lawyer what? in 2021. Apparently that's all it takes to afford this house. <laughs> it appears a note was left for us. Dear Mr. Beast, thank you for visiting my home. You have given me the ultimate gift. I have a trump card with my kids forever. Aww. Also, please don't eat any of the sandwiches. They are very sacred to me and my family's been passing it down from generation to generation. Got it. Down or up? Down. Down it is. Okay, now it's starting to look nice. The lower floor of this mansion comes with its very own movie theater and personal gym. This treadmill requires a passcode to use. 6969. Six, nine. It's not 6969. Six, nine. A guest bedroom, entertainment area, and a bar where the owner left us a bunch of free food. Guys, before you eat anything, yeah. what if he left this out so he could sue us for eating his food? Well, too late now, Carl ate it. And an incredible underground view of the swimming pool. Nolan's trying to swim in the background for the shot. I don't think he realized we stopped filming him. Back again? Yeah, do it one more time. And now, a master bedroom with another crazy view. Carl, come here. You missed. We got another one. Oh, you missed again. Oh, wait, no, stop it. Nolan, stop this cushion also. Stop throwing the cushion. If it goes over the edge, he might sue me. And so to avoid being handed court papers, we decided to fly all the way across the country to Massachusetts for the $30 million house. This extraordinary 16 bedroom estate has four different buildings. In the main house, there are multiple living rooms, but this one is the best of the living rooms in this property. This is grand. What is this? The Oval Office. What book would you expect here besides The Way to Wealth by Benjamin Franklin? Girl made the light bulb and a book? Well, Edison made the light bulb, not Ben Franklin. What the hell did Ben Franklin do? I'm gonna read this book. <laughs> 
Past the living room and the office was the grand kitchen, where the owner had left a little gift for us. The owner of this place got rich making candles, so he made us custom Mr. Beast candles. That one smells like the beach. It does. How do they put the beach in a candle? And to top off the house's main building, Chandler discovered that she can pick golf balls off the roof. Four. But that's not even close to the coolest thing about this place. Because next door is a garage filled with exotic cars. This looks like a garage out of a video game. They got Lamborghinis on top of Lamborghinis. It's like a candy store for adults. And the best part is, this is just one of two car garages. Follow me. There's more? Bro, there's more cars in here than the other one. Holy crap. Crap. All right, now I am convinced if we steal a car, he would not notice. How do you even buy these cars? Hey, I want three of the same ones. It's like a full-time job to buy this many cars. There's stairs in the corner. Let's see where they go. Bro, this is like a closet with cars. Underneath the car garage is another army of cars. They should really invest in a light switch down here. They have 20 cars down here, but no lights. <gasps> Did Wait, I? No, no way. way. No. <gasps> oh! That's why there wasn't a light switch. I was like, who can afford to shove 30 cars in their basement but not electricity? Now don't get me wrong, all of the rooms in this house have been awesome so far. But if I owned it, I don't think I would ever leave this next building. This is awesome. That's right, for some just ungodly reason, whoever built this place thought it would be a good idea to install an entire indoor tennis court. I just want to remind you that we are playing tennis inside a house. I also have no idea how to play tennis. Gang squad, follow me. What? No way. Two story arcade. The arcade in this house is actually 20 times bigger than the one in the $1 million house. Whoa. But that's not all. Bro, this place literally has everything. All right, I'm never leaving. We're playing ping pong in a basketball court in a house. First try, baby. All the features of the $30 million house have been pretty cool, but this next room is what makes this place truly special. Head up these stairs for the best part of the estate. What you really want to see is right over here. Look at this. This is an indoor water park. Whoa. There's like a whole nother world in here. Look how far back the drone is and it's still going. Go have fun, but don't break anything. Roger that. <laughs> the water park i'll see you at the next house the only bad news is it's across the entire country the good news is it's a 45 million dollar mega mansion whoa what? oh my gosh this is like the most open house i've ever been in what i don't know what majestic thing this is but it's beautiful. As you can probably tell, these houses are starting to get so expensive, I don't even know how to describe them anymore. Honestly, lost for words. This is quite possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I called in multi-billionaire Mark Cuban to help us out. How's it going? Hey, good to see this place. How's it going, little man? Nice to Mark's also the proud owner of the Dallas Mavericks basketball team. And because this house has its very own basketball court, you can imagine we got a little distracted. Ah, Jimmy won't make it. Buckets. <laughs> All right, just steal it from Carl. Hit that! No shot. We get those! Yes! Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Easy layup, bud. Yeah! There we go. Next point wins. Oh, you hit it. Game winner. Oh, no. Yeah! Game Way to dominate, Jakers. Now we're going to show Mark around the rest of the house. Now that we're all sweaty. To find out if he thought it was worth the steep $45 million price tag. In case you're wondering, we didn't go swimming. You know, it looks like I did go swimming. <laughs> How much do they want for this house? 45. Not worth it? Because it's Brentwood, that's probably half of it. Is Brentwood what that is? No. <laughs> the neighborhood. <laughs> I also thought he was talking I about the wood in the house. Wood. That's funny. This bathroom over here is nice. Do you have a couch in your bathroom? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Okay. We need to get on Mark's level. The number one rule is you have to have a heated seat. That's it? That feeling when you sit down and you go. It is not cool. I agree. You don't need to make billions to be happy. You just need to be able to afford a bidet <laughs> and a heated toilet seat. Because that's where I spend most of my time. Well, even <laughs> though I'm sure Mark would love to spend more time here on the toilets, our time here has officially ran out. So, I'll see you guys at the next ah. house. Up next, we have a house whose price point happens to be a funny number. And now we are at the $69 billion mansion. That looks like a villain owns it. It does look villainous. <laughs> 
How's this compare to your house, Miranda? <laughs> it's a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> that can't be true. What's your address? <laughs> the reason why this weird looking house can still go on the market for $69 million is because it's filled to the brim with priceless art and sculptures sourced from all around the world. Throw up how much these artworks are worth and we're going to try to guess it. How much do you think this is worth? I'm gonna say 100,000. What do you think, Miranda? I'm gonna go with 80. Oh, she has one of these in her house. <laughs> yeah, I have one. <laughs> Only you know the actual price. Oh wait, actually this one will be a fun one. I'm gonna go with a million dollars because it's like right down the opening stairs, so. Uh, 450,000. Very precise. Very specific. <laughs> the $30 million house had a water park, 100 cars. This place just has artwork. Big red sculpture thing. This room over here, we promised them 30 times we wouldn't touch what's in it. Come over here. No touching anything. Yes. What is it? This is a one-of-one, -one fully analog, custom home sound system. Made by the creator of the Walkman, which was one of the first devices that allowed you to listen to music while walking. That's an impressive thing to have under your belt, to made the Walkman. I don't think you could fit this under your belt. <laughs> <laughs> it's traverse across the skywalk. Oh my god, I'm excited. Another reason why this house is built so strange, for example, having to walk across sky bridges to get anywhere, is because it's been meticulously built to be able to withstand the force of a real tsunami. I mean, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Wow. You can see the tsunamis before they hit your house and you stop them. <laughs> what completes the view is uh, the neighbor's backyard. You can see all of it. What if the man who lives here is secretly in love with the person that lives next door? <laughs> that's his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> it's a Romeo and Juliet. And after checking out the last two rooms inside, I had a surprise waiting for us outside. Look over there. What? He's nuts. <laughs> did you guys even notice the planes drawing that? No. <laughs> How on earth did they do that? I paid these planes and also bought a thousand billboards all across America to let everyone know that Feastables is the best tasting chocolate you can buy. Stop eating Hershey's and other Boomer brands. Feastables is modern chocolate. Also, because Halloween's coming up and all these retailers you see here, we're now selling these bags of these smaller Feastables bars so you can give them out during trick-or-treating. If you don't want to be lame on Halloween, Make sure you give away feastables to trick-or-treaters. Luckily, our candy is very affordable, but you want to know what's not very affordable? The final house. Or should I say, the $139 million, arguably most luxurious house on the planet, Mega Mansion. This massive 36,000 square foot mansion has things you'd never see in any other house. From a nightclub, to a T-Rex, to an entire robotic car elevator, this place is going to blow your mind. And to make this house tour a little extra special, we brought Justin Timberlake. How you guys doing? And this is Justin's house. He's gonna <laughs> show <us> right. No. <laughs> Holy crap. Have you ever seen a view better than this in your life? This is gorgeous. Yeah, man, you guys really, the CGI is perfect. It looks real. <laughs> He's like, yeah, maybe it's top 10. I, I'd put it top five. It's hard to describe just how big this mansion really is. It has 12 bedrooms and 17 bathrooms split across three massive stories, all with the perfect view of the Los Angeles skyline. I always judge a house by the kitchen. Minimalist kitchen. You judge these things, how are you feeling? Um, well, let's keep going. At the end of the tour, we'll get his opinion on if he'd pay $100 million. He has it on standby if he likes it. Straight cash, homie. Everything in this house is built out of the most expensive materials on the planet. For example, the walls in this room are constructed entirely out of rare marble imported straight from Italy. You guys gotta get an estimate or something of how much marble's actually in this house. I mean, that's a, that's like, custom done. Yeah, there's not a single thing of drywall in this entire house. Okay. Drywall. <laughs> it's a pretty sick chandelier. This chandelier is over a million dollars and the ceiling literally started dipping because it weighs so many thousands of pounds. It really keeps going. You didn't tell me it was a million. I was playing with it earlier. There's literally six million dollars of just chandeliers in this house. And the rooms on the bottom floor get even better. There's a whole other house down here. If you come over here, I think this is literally an ice room. Is this where you lock me in? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yep. So, like, what are you doing here? They ran out of room ideas. Probably a 50% chance we're locked in here because that doesn't have a handle. Oh, no, we're good. That would have been oh. funny if we were. Oh, his face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real dinosaur? Now that you know the house has a dinosaur, are you more apt to buy it? <sighs> I'm still on the fence. Oh. <laughs> what? Is this a locker room? No one currently owns this house, so they put name tags of the few people on the planet that can actually afford it. Warren Buffett's worth like 80 billion, Ellison's worth like 50 billion, Bezos like 100 billion. Chandler, why is your name not up here? Oh. Ooh. 
All right, let's check out the whips. No, no, you just posing. I'd just be sitting here. You really matched the house. Bro. Thank you. I was, I was going for that. Yeah. I was going for that. Job well done. No one's going to go in the editing room and clip that. <laughs> <laughs> this $2.5 million car elevator is one of the most insane features in the whole house. Basically, you select which car you want to drive on the tablet, and it literally sends it up two floors right into the garage. I know what you're thinking. The main problem with this is it only stores six Lamborghinis, and yeah. you needed like a, a 10 car storage. <laughs> right. This house also had by far the biggest home theater I've ever seen in my life. Whoa. Whoa. This almost looks like a real movie theater. This is the best movie theater so far. And they're yeah, actually maybe. reclining chairs. It only costs 100 mil for that. <laughs> Check it out, Jimmy. Wait, what's this? Press my massage button. Oh, I got you. <laughs> hey, I don't need this. <laughs> Bro, where's my button? My chair's not even doing that. Here, switch. Let me see. Yeah, Chandler, test the massage feature. Oh my god, it works! There's no way this is just the only one here. Man, this is crazy! Bro, what is wrong with them? Alright, lead the way upstairs. This is a primary bedroom over here. Hmm? Oh, and then over here, the bathrooms. In case you've ever wanted to shower with 10 people, <laughs> now you can. That's my thing, man. You can take a bath with no one, basically only yourself. But showering, you can fit an army in there. That's what you're into. He is. <laughs> <laughs> and now the best part of the house over at the pool. The real reason this house costs so much. I'm pressing it. Oh, uh, is this a screen? It is absurdly large. And slow. It gives drama though. It is, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is very it gives a dramatic effect. I mean, it's a little bit of a flex. What a gorgeous view of LA. <laughs> yeah, imagine if the screensaver was LA. I think it is. it is. There's downtown LA, and there's downtown LA. For reference, Carl's like six foot five. Yeah, something like that, give or take. <laughs> and look how tall the TV is compared to him. All right, Justin, you've seen the whole house. We need to know. Obviously, you have $100 million in cash sitting outside. Right. Are you gonna buy the house? Nolan's shirt comes with it. You don't like my shirt? Your shirt comes with it? Yes. I'm in. Does, does, does the bear that ripped up the shirt come with it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Why? I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you around. To buy the house you just saw, check out 1200 Bel Air in Los Angeles.